my makeup in the natural sunlight, no filter, no flitter, okay? Hi guys and welcome to my channel my name is Ania Dengue and if this is your first time here welcome here on the channel I like to do makeup hair vlogs lifestyle videos a little bit of everything so if that's something that interests you please consider subscribing as you can tell by the title your girl is back with another get ready with me this one is a Thanksgiving get ready with me but it's giving very much fall glam okay get into the look get into it I'm gonna share my makeup routine with you guys my outfit and where I got my stuff from so yeah stay tuned and please like comment share and subscribe and don't don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video. Just get into the look. Just get into it. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. Stay tuned. Let's go right into it. Yeah. All right, real quick, y'all. This is gonna be a sped up video. Get ready with me, a little bit sped up. Y'all can see my skin is really bad. Um, I just started my birth control, so I think I'm breaking out because of that. I mean, I was already breaking out, but I think it's making it worse. You know, because birth control helps clear it up, but it gets worse before it gets better. So yeah, bear with me and my skin, but y'all gonna watch me transform real quick. I'm not gonna do too much talking. Let's get into these eyebrows. And I always like to start my eyebrows off with my next pencil. Y'all know um, this will be a voiceover, so I'll say everything that I use in the voiceover. I won't stop every time so so let's get ready to it hey guys so I did my eyebrows off camera because I will have an updated eyebrow routine coming very soon but I did want to show you how I carve out my eyebrows using small strokes right here I'm using the Morphe brush the M421 brush and I'm using the elf hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish in deep cinnamon and rich chocolate when I start my eyebrows, I like to use small tapping motions and then I like to drag once I get to the arch of my eyebrow. And always make sure you pull your concealer down because it makes blending so much easier. Speaking of blending, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M173 buffing brush and I like to pull that concealer down and really make sure you blend it out, guys. So next it's time for the eyes and off camera, I set my eyes with the same concealer that I used to highlight with, but now it is time to carve out my cut crease. I am using the P. Louise base in the color Rumor Zero and using my Morphe M224 brush to go ahead and carve out my cut crease y'all guys off camera before cutting out my cut crease i did apply a brown shade from the chocolates palette by juvia's place and in order to get a really clean cut crease i used a q-tip and some minocell water to go ahead and carve out where i wanted my cut crease to fall before i applied this base i am just tapping this base to push it more into my eyelid so i can get a tackier sticky base for my eyeshadow to really stick to sometimes i get a better blend when i use my finger and now here is a visual up close I tap 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 use tapping motion this is the best brush to use when cutting out your cut crease y'all I'm telling you but I first apply the base and then I look up and then I create the shape that I want with the cut crease by doing little tapping motions and you see it may take a while to get the perfect look that you want but always go back and keep carving it out remember this is not a race guys unless you're in a rush like I always am when I'm doing makeup but take your time really take your time and you can get the perfect cut crease I promise you y'all now it's time for my favorite part the eyes I'm going in with my Morphe live with love palette and I'm using the color hope and I'm applying that to the outside of my cut crease this will be like my transitional shade and then after that I am going to use this yellow color it is called share joy this Morphe brush that I'm using now doesn't have a name but I absolutely love it to pack colors to really make that color of the eyeshadow stick I am using padding motions with my Morphe brush to really push the eyeshadow on my eye and then I begin to blend I'm going back in to blend out with that hope color using my Morphe M433 brush. Now it's time for the corner of my eyes and I'm using my Morphe M124 brush and I'm going back into my Morphe palette and I'm using the color Keep It True and I'm just sitting there again doing tapping motions, pat, 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 y'all see me tap, 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 and then I'm going to blend it once I am done. But I use this color just to bring out a highlight in the middle of my eye and here is a close up of my eyes guys, get into the blending, get into the transition of the colors, okay? Now after my eyes are done, it is time to start my face. I love to prime my face with this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, guys. If you have not tried this primer, I'm telling you, invest in it. Then I am going to put my foundation on my face, and I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation in the color to go. 
I was just matching the foundation to my skin to make sure it was a good match because I am still trying to find my winter shade. And guys, I use entirely too much foundation. Please don't ever, ever use that much foundation. And I am using my Fenty Beauty 110 foundation brush to go ahead and paint my face. But then you will see me use a damp beauty blender, a Real Techniques bleed blender to go ahead and buff out some of that foundation. Y'all will see me getting frustrated because I'm like, yo, I use way, way, way too much foundation. But stay tuned because it worked out for your girl look at me mad mad <laughs> So after my foundation, I like to put on my highlighter and I'm using the ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the color medium dark and I like to apply it under my eyes, down my nose, around my eyebrows and on the top of my lip. And I go ahead and I get a smaller beauty blender and I begin buffing it out guys. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. I'm telling you it changes things and it makes your makeup look flawless. I also like to build up the highlight underneath my eyes. So even though you see me applying it this one time, I might've went back and applied it another time just so I can build up the color and make it really bright underneath my under eye. I love a bright under eye. It isn't as bright as it could be, but I didn't want it too much for this look. I forgot I did go back in and use my elf 16 hour camo concealer in the color deep chestnut to brighten up my under eye even more and I let it sit before I started to blend it out yo let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all something this Juvia's Place bronze palette in the color deep it is everything every chocolate baddie should have this out there but the colors don't have names and I'm using the top shade and at first I start off by buffing it out with my morphe m104 brush and then I'm just using a drugstore brand brush to blend it out even more because I didn't want a two chisel look I just wanted something really soft y'all I'm back here I go again applying more highlighter I told you I love a really bright under eye look so I like to layer my products and I'm using a deep chestnut again just to go ahead and layer that highlighter back on and I kind of like highlighting after I bronze so it can have a better blend so now I'm using a little bit of the bottom shade and the top shade from the Juvia's bronzer palette and I'm mixing them together to go back and really carve out my face. Not too dark, not too dark at all guys, but I also wanted to touch up my forehead and blend that out with a beauty blender if there's any harsh marks. After that, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Y'all, I swear by the setting powder. I'm telling y'all, I swear by the setting powder. Make sure you get you some and I'm using a damp beauty blender to go ahead and press it into my skin. I don't really bake. I like to press the powder into my skin and again y'all see me going back and highlighting the top part of my lip because I just don't feel like it's bright enough y'all I just like the brightness okay but after I go and highlight that I'm going to go back in and of course set that now it is time to contour my nose and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Expresso and I'm using this Morphe brush that I absolutely love. It is the M164 brush and I'm dragging it down my nose. I do put a little bit of contour around my lips just to help define my lips more but I realized I didn't like it and kind of looked like I had a mustache so I went to go ahead and blend that out. <laughs> so yeah. You see me apply more highlight because I said what was I thinking? I saw it on TikTok. I tried it. Clearly, I didn't like it. So I'm using this drugstore brush right here, and I'm blending out my nose contour even more just to get a chiseled look. And I go in my Juvia's Place Bronze Palette to set that contour, and I'm just dragging it down my nose, y'all. And make sure you drag it up into your eyebrow bone so you can get a really clean, even blend. And I do apply some contour or bronze or whatever you want to call it to the bottom of my jaw to have a more chiseled look and to help my makeup blend better. I go back in with a beauty blender just to set all of that underneath of my bronzer I use my Laura Mercier setting powder along with my Fenty Beauty nutmeg setting powder and a triangle sponge along with my Real Techniques 402 brush and I like to set the rest of my face the Fenty Beauty nutmeg is closer to my skin tone so I like to use that underneath of my contour just so it can blend a little bit better and for the rest of my face I use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and a damp beauty blender and I really like to focus on my oily spots which is my forehead and my t-zone and also my smile lines because i crease a lot of my smile lines i am using my morphe luminous setting spray and setting my whole face and then i'm going to go into my elf putty blush i love their putty blush y'all and this is in the color caribbean i like to place my blush in the same place i place my bronzer but a little bit above and i like to place a little bit on my nose as well to apply my putty blush, I did use my Real Techniques 430 brush, and then I'm going to put the molds back in my face using this NYX 
ink liner in the color black so for my lip combo i'm using this kiss dark brown this juvia's place lip liner in the color scorpio and this nyx butter gloss in the color ginger snap i want to remind you guys that i did have foundation on my lips before this so it did probably affect the color i just want you guys to keep that in mind but i love this combo in the next clip you see me using my finger to blend out my lip liner a little bit more i promise you using my finger is so much better than using a brush for me and then i apply my lashes with duo glue and these lashes are from amazon i will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing these Okay guys, so I am using bottom lashes for this look and to help my natural lashes pop a little bit more, I am using this Maybelline's Falsies Mascara and then I'm going to apply my bottom lashes. You see me struggling a little bit with the placement, I just had to figure it out, but I really love adding bottom lashes to this look guys. I think bottom lashes are going to become my new favorite thing. Okay guys, so pretty much my face is done. I didn't want to do too much with the highlights and I think it looks very soft and very like neutral glam. My eyebrows is killing me, but they're going to be covered by my bangs. So right now I'm just going to put the finishing touches on my makeup and that's basically just like my highlighter and stuff like that. Then I'm going to put my wig on and get dressed with you guys. And I wear the same fragrances all the time. So if you guys have any new fragrance that you guys really love, I'm not a big like warm scented person more of a fresh clean and floral person so if you know any really good scents just let me know because your girl has been trying to get into her as all her ways and step out where y'all and buy more perfume so give me recommendations and for my highlight i'm just using the same color that i used on my eyes and it's that keep true color from morphe's palette what is this palette the live with love palette and i'm just gonna take some really bright um it's called spark ideas in the corner of my eye just to add some brightness normally i would highlight the my cupid's bow before i put on my lipstick but i forgot to so i'm just gonna do it now and i didn't add any highlighter on while i was doing makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna use my fenty beauty it is called the fenty glow highlighter if i can get open <laughs> so it looks like this y'all know fenty and it just adds a really light highlight, nothing too much. And I forgot to draw my mole on this side, so I'll go back and draw that in. But I just want a little highlight. Y'all see the glow? I'm happy I waited to add that so I could draw my mole back in. Because I really do have a mole right here and right here. And right here and right here, just not right there. I don't know if I have one here. I used to. Oh, it's a bump. <laughs> okay, guys, so now I'm going to jump off camera, finish a little TikToks real quick, and then show you guys how I put my wig on. All right, y'all, so let me take this off really quick and my girls with locks i don't know about y'all but when i'm wearing a wig only for one day i do not braid my hair down so i literally take half of my hair put one ponytail holder all the way to the back and i try to make it as flat as i possibly can because you don't want any bulkiness so i grab and i section and i pull so y'all see i got a lot of build up a lot of residue i need to wash my hair and i have yet to do it but i'll get to it one day so i'm just pulling to make sure i got everything back into a ponytail like so like that and then instead of making it a full ponytail, I split hair in the middle. So it looks like, hold up guys, let me show you. So it splits like this. The ponytail holder will be in between the two. Don't ask me why I just do that. And I feel like it cuts down on the bulkiness of the ponytail. Um, so that is why I do that. Again, on this side, make sure I'm grabbing everything. And I have bangs. Normally I would jaw my edges down, but it's fully covered. So I don't care about that. Ugh, I've been wearing my locks down so much more recently and it has been hurting when I put them in ponytails and stuff. Ugh. So again, wrap it around. Last one, you're going to take it like this, separate the two and then pull like that. So it looks like a regular ponytail and this is what the back of my head looks like on both sides. And then I'm going to take that once I have my wig on. I'm going to take those two ponytails that I have right here and then cross them up like this. So I can fit all underneath my wig, kind of sort of flat, <laughs> somewhat flat, okay? And usually I would put a wig cap on with this, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is bobby pin them up so it stays, but really my wig is from Shein. It's a $17 wig from Shein. And I 
can literally stick my hands through it and fix the hair that I need to fix um, because it's not like a full lace or like full anything really. It's just like tracks and I'll show you guys what I mean in a little bit. So I'm taking it and pinning up my extra hair now. I'm not going to pin up everything because the rest of the stuff I can just push up under. Alright guys, so here's the Shein wig. $17 Shein wig. As you can tell, the part is an artificial part. I had to put some concealer in there to make it dark. It's like really pale. Let me show you if I can find it. This is what it looks like. So, and it's like silicone. It's not like lace or anything. Um, and this is what I mean by I could just literally stick my fingers in between. It's kind of just tracks. There's no like cap in there. And then I do have it um, adjusted in the back right here. I've worn this wig while I was in Atlanta. So if you haven't seen my Atlanta vlog, make sure you go check that out. And I absolutely love this wig for $17. I might trim the ends as I get as I wear it more often because it's getting a little ratty now. But I love it for the money that I paid. And I just stuff up all my locks in my wig some way, somehow, because I do not want them to show. I'm just gonna spend time brushing this out and styling it how I want. Um, I do not put any heat on this, so I'm literally just brushing it and combing it until I get it to where I want it to be. And that's why I wasn't too concerned about my eyebrows because they are like fully covered. It's always a lock trying to get out. And I'm back. And she's back. I think I want to wear a beret with this. <laughs> but I don't know how I feel with the outfit. But I'll see. Okay, so you guys, here's the wig on. I'm going to jump off camera, go get dressed, and then show you guys what I'm wearing so we can get into the outfits, the accessories, and all that. Okay guys, so I'm back and let's get into this outfit really quick. The whole outfit besides the bag and the beret are from Shein. So the dress, this little knit dress, I'm gonna leave all the prices and everything on the screen. The belt, the booties, and even the black shirt. Now this beret, I think I got it off of Amazon or while I was in Paris, I'm not sure which one, but you can easily find a beret, a cheap beret on Amazon. So this is the outfit, get into the outfit. And yeah, thank you guys so much for getting ready with me today. Um, I hope everybody has a safe and good Thanksgiving. This was a Thanksgiving look, but it's also a good fall look. And yeah, so I'm here for the makeup and the outfits, okay? And the hair, sis. Now, I'm probably gonna put my press ones on because I'm feeling a little lazy, but that's fine. If you guys like this video and getting ready with me and wanna see more like this, just let me know. I love to do these things with you guys. And if this is anything that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Help your girl out, it's free. I know you're watching this video, so why are you not subscribed? I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and happy holidays, guys. Love you. Bye. Wait, guys, I just wanted to give y'all a close-up of my makeup in the natural sunlight. No filter, no flitter, okay? Go ahead. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all of that. This look is just giving, and I just cannot wait to post the pictures on Instagram. So make sure you guys go follow me, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!